Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to the Muslim readers. Read a tale, a story in the month of Ramadan. Today we'll be reading the story titled "My Dad Is Always Working," authored by Hafsa Darabi, illustrated by Arwa Salamia. Wake up, Abdullah, Mum said. It's time for class. Abdullah moaned and peeked his head out from under his duvet. Already, Abdullah complained as he rolled out of bed and gave his mum a hug. His clothes were laid out at the end of his bed, ready for him to take a shower and put on. As he rushed downstairs for breakfast, he, he, his dad whisked past him with some black smudges on his shirt, extremely, looking extremely tired. Abdullah knew that when his dad was rushing around that fast on a Sunday morning, he was going work and he was late. Abdullah sighed and shouted, Assalamu alaikum daddy, as he, as his dad opened the door to, li- to leave the house. Wa alaikum assalam, dad called back out of breath. I'll come and pick you from, I'll come and pick you up from classes today inshallah okay see you click he heard the front door snap shut before he could even finish his sentence i don't know found and thought Dad is always working. He made his way to the kitchen to have breakfast. His mum had made him his favourite chocolate and strawberry pancakes for breakfast. A small smile appeared from Abdullah's face and he quickly stuffed his mouth with the delicious, warm, fluffy goodness. Mum saw that Abdullah was feeling a bit down. You can ride your bike to class with Khalid today, if you if you'd like. She suggested. Abdullah's smile whined just as his mum thought it would, and he ran out of the out of the house and grabbed his bike. He was pulling the door closed when he heard his mum shout, Don't forget your football boots for big time Abdullah Assalamu alaikum children said Malima Latifa. We we have a fun lesson planned for today. Let's talk about saying thank you. The students smiled excitedly and as they all sat down ready for the class to begin. Does anyone know how we thank people in Islam? Asked Mali Malatifa. I do, said Maryam. We say Jazakallah khair. Yes, that's right. Well done, Mariam. Mali Malatifa smiled. And this means, may God reward you with goodness. At the end of class, she said, today, instead of doing some writing for homework, I want you to make your very own card so, so, card so, think about it carefully and make a jar a jar, 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 jar card 
for the person who thinks deserves your gratitude. Mariam turned with a smile and whispered to Abdullah, I'm going to make a card for my mum. Of course. One, two, three, four, five. At, her, at home time, everyone stood in the playground waiting eagerly for his dad to get there so he could talk to him about the project. At the wall, he heard his name and turned to see his mum in the park. Abner's heart sunk and he walked slowly towards his mum and thought, Dad is always working. Abdullah and his mum sat down to have dinner. He told his mum all about St. Zakhbar and the homework that, that Mulima had given him to do. I think I'll make a Zakhbar card for you, Mum, Abdullah said, he woke me up in the morning and made me delicious pancakes even and even picked me up from Arabic class. You, you deserve all my gratitude. Abdullah smiled and hugged his mum. But what about your dad? She asked, can you think of anything that that he did for you this morning. Abdullah shrugged his shoulders and said, Dad is always working. Hmm, that's true, response Mum. But this morning, did you notice that your dad noticed that your clothes are already laid out on a nice neatly. Your bike was fixed, and even your your football boots were super clean. Adler's mind raced back to breakfast time when breakfast time when he saw. His dad with muddy marks on his shirt before he rushed out the door. Did dad do all of that? Abdullah whispered. Abdullah's mom nodded. For me, Abdullah smiled and nodded. Abdullah's mom smiled and nodded once more. There, there. There are a lot there there are a lot of things that you may not see that your father does for you because he loves you, said Mum. Abdullah realized that his dad must have been late because he had spent his morning ironing fixing and even cleaning. He ran to his room and got out his coloring pens and he and got to work to make his dad the most amazing Zakwa Hayat card ever. As he worked, he thought about how his dad has has to work hard make to make sure that his mom could live in their beautiful house and eat all the tasty food in the kitchen. Once he had finished, Abdullah tiptoed in, in his dad's room and placed the card in his jacket pocket. The next morning, Abdullah's dad was sitting at 
with his desk, typing away frantically at his computer. He took a piece of card in his pocket and pulled it out. It was covered in in his favourite teal colour with a picture of a little boy, a bike, a pair of football boots and the biggest stack of pancakes ever. Abdullah and his mum arrived home in the evening after football. As soon as they opened the front door, they smelt something burning from the kitchen. They ran into the kitchen to see what on earth was going on. Abdullah's dad was standing in the middle of the kitchen, sweating covered in flour and holding a st stack of very burnt pancakes. Dad, are you okay? said Abdullah as he, as he and his mum struggled to hold back the laughter. Dinner is served. Abdullah announced Abdullah's dad announced importantly as he wiped some flour off his face. After a rather crunchy meal, as they all began cleaning up the kitchen, Abdullah thought, thought to himself, Dad is always working for me. Jazakallah, for listening to the story. Asma'alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa